Do you want to migrate an existing WooCommerce store into a new site with all its previous orders, subscriptions and coupons details? Then you are in the right place. In this tutorial, let us see how coupons can be exported from our WooCommerce store. Get started by installing and activating the plugin. From the WordPress dashboard, navigate to the WooCommerce Coupon Import Export. By default, you will be taken to the export window. The plugin gives provision to export or download your coupons in CSV format. The export feature comes with several inbuilt filter options. For instance, if you want to export a particular set of coupons only, then simply specify the number of coupons to be skipped before exporting in the offset field and number of coupons to be exported in the limit field. For example, let's give 10 in the offset field and 50 in the limit field. This means that the first 10 coupons will be skipped and the rest of the 50 coupons beneath it will be exported. You can export coupons on the basis of coupon types like percentage, fixed cart, fixed product discount or store credit. Multiple coupon types can also be chosen. However, if you haven't selected any, then all the coupons will be exported. To sort the exported CSV columns on the basis of coupon ID, simply key in with ID in this field. You can also sort columns on the basis of post title or any other parameter. Specify the coupon amount limits in the from amount and to amount spin boxes to export only those coupons which fall in between this amount range. Coupons that will expire within a particular period of time can be exported by specifying the from date and to date in respective fields from the calendar controls. Delimiter is a character which is used to separate the values in the CSV file. By default, a comma is taken as the delimiter. You can also use other special characters. If you want to export specific columns, select the checkbox for required columns. You can modify the column header in the CSV file. To do that, simply enter the required column name for the specific column. Hit on export coupon to get the CSV file downloaded into your system. View the coupons by clicking on the exported file. Now that you have obtained the exported file, the same can be used to import it into your new WooCommerce store. Next, let's walk through the importing steps. Basically, the plugin offers two methods for importing. First method will require you to upload a file from your computer. The second method is to select a CSV file from your FTP server. You need to enable FTP for importing coupons using this method and then key in the rest of the details like the server hoster IP, username, password, port, and server file path. Provisions are given to ensure SSL encryption and enable passive mode also. However, it's up to you to choose in which method you need to import the coupons. We'll go with the first method. Let's upload a file from our system. The next option is to update coupons if exists, enabling this will ensure that existing coupons will be updated with details in the CSV. Specify the delimiter which is used to separate the values in your CSV. Usually, a comma is used as the delimiter. You can also use other special characters. To use product SKU instead of product ID in coupon restriction settings, enable this option. Next, proceed to import mapping. You have reached the second step of the import process. Here you can map your imported columns to coupon data fields. Begin by specifying a mapping file name in the field so that it can be used later for future imports. Even though, by default, the WooCommerce fields are already mapped with columns, you can still modify the headers by choosing appropriately from the drop-down. Evaluation field is used to fix or update one or more fields with desired value across all products. This is not a mandatory field. Suppose, you want to add 5 to the coupon amount. Under evaluation field, write plus 5 in coupon amount row. Similarly, you can assign a constant value to a field, subtract, multiply or divide a value, append or prepend it, and even convert the date format. Hover the mouse on the evaluation field header or refer our documentation to know more on it. Once everything is done, hit on start import. You can see the progress of your import, and finally all the coupons are successfully imported into your new store. 
The plugin also allows you to schedule or set up a cron job for the import or export of coupons. Navigate to the Import Export Settings tab. It is in the Coupon section. The FTP details pertaining to the scheduled import export are embedded. First, enable the FTP and key in the FTP details. Specify the export path and file name in respective fields. Next, you will get the options to enable automatic import or export. Enter the required export start time and time interval in minutes for exporting the coupons. Likewise, import can be scheduled by enabling the automatic import option. You will have to specify the import file path, start time and import interval for the automatic import. As seen earlier, certain import filter options like merge coupons if exists, link SKU etc. are also included here. The mapping file saved earlier will be populated here for selection. Finally, save the settings. The importer export will be automatically repeated on the basis of the start time and interval scheduled, making it very convenient for the store owner. We have come to the end of this tutorial of importing and exporting coupons. Do check out our playlist to know more on the import and export of orders, subscriptions etc. Stay tuned.